All right, peeps, recently I made a video letting you guys know that this week is the best week to go ahead and farm up some Ascendant Alloys, especially now that we have the cap up to 30 from 10. And you can definitely stockpile a lot more Ascendant Alloys, and especially with this week being the Ghost Weekly Campaign Mission for the Witch Queen, you can run it on Master Mode very, very, very fast to get yourselves those juicy, juicy tangerines. Even with only two people, you can do runs in less than eight minutes. And in this video, we got our boy Ian to come help us out. And we ran this mission for about five and a half hours last night. And it went from a farming session to how fast can we run through this mission? And in this video, we got a time of five minutes and 46 seconds with no oobs. I did a little bit of looking around online to see if anybody had a faster time doing this mission on master mode. And I did not see anybody having it this fast, at least with no oobs. So I figured it actually be worth posting in its entirety. Of course, I am no speedrunner. Far, far from it. But I think this might be record for how niche of a category this may be. And definitely thought it was at least worth uploading. And yes, we used three Banner of War Titans. I had triple shotgun. As most of this mission's champions are overloads and tractor cannon suppresses overloads, which stuns them, which is very, very handy. Another reason why tractor cannon is so goaded. With that being said, remember, if you ever want to get your games in the DLC for a cheaper price, hit up Insta Gaming, top link in the description. Thank you for watching the video in advance. Definitely hit up this mission if you are looking to get some Ascendant Alloys very, very fast. Oh, and check out Ian's channel. It'll be towards the top of the description if you want to check him out. He's a real cool homie and a real goaded Destiny player. That is real. Yeah. But we gotta be there for boss and first. Yeah. First and boss, you have to get it. It is like a requirement. Because the first one is just, the first one lasts for so long. You know? The yeah. tank room and champ room one. Like, if you miss that first flag, you are fucked for one of those rooms. No matter what. Yeah. I remember at GCX, she was telling me, bro, you should stream on a stream. It doesn't, it doesn't break me. There we go. Hit the fucking thing. Good shit. I finished the wrong thing, but I should be able to catch up in time. Hopefully. I'm already right behind three. That's good. And I hit a rock. It's fine. I should still be. Go. Still got it. We're good. We're good. No time loss. Are you kidding me, game? What could you have possibly messed up this early? I don't know. <laughs> also, two, me uh, two melees whiffed, and the third one didn't kill the enemy, so I'm out of the melee for no reason without the same goal. Three, two, one, go. Oh. That was a giant 
Yes, I got it. Let's go. Sweet. Absolutely, I am. Kree has one. He has a tangle. Oh, that one? I'm not doing that. I'm not throwing. Mixing up the formula right now would be a throw. Yeah, he's, you got a point. You got a point. I'm not doing it either. It's at least melee regen in here, though. seconds early guys I know This isn't exactly a wipe yet. He's got a point. Near Kree's room, same spot. Tracker. Holy shit. Might be a 540. The anticipation. We got that. 46. We got that all day. I stopped recording when I died. Um, I still have it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need one of your POVs. What was it again? Uh, five, it should be 546. 546. Which means we beat the previous guy by seven seconds. That's real. On master of all difficulties. Yeah, the fuck is hero. Five forty six, baby, with uh, everyone an getting an alloy. There we all got an alloy. Five forty six. All right, we can. We can. We can, can we... set Cree free officially. <laughs> we. 